Hey everyone, Marvin again from Maria Mays, and welcome to episode four of our online tutorial series on YouTube. Um, in this episode, we're going to talk about notifications. Uh, we're also going to talk about autoresponders for your email channels, as well as uh, setting your office hours. Kind of a little bit more um, administrative features um, that you have access to in your Maria Mays account. Um, in the following episodes, we'll talk about other features kind of in more in depth. Uh, so if you have any questions about anything here in this episode or any, any of the pr episodes prior, uh, make sure to message us uh, directly through the little chat widget in your Maze account. Just click help and then you can send us a message here. Okay, so let's get started. So um, we're going to talk about notifications first. So notifications um, are an important part of Maze just because you want to stay up to date and you want to be alerted on the new conversations that are coming in or other actions that your team members are doing in your in the Reamaze account so you get notified um, of the right things. So to start off, we're going to go to settings. Now, uh, you'll remember that when you invited your staff members, um, you had an option of kind of setting uh, different notifications for the uh, for the subscribe channels. So let's say you invited Marty to your Reamaze account. Um, you can click on Marty and you can set the subscribed channels here uh, for Marty himself. Um, this is kind of more admin level controls. Uh, but for individual level controls, um, there's a special notification setting. Now, before we proceed, I just want kind of want to point you guys to an article that we have on our FAQ. So this is the Reamaze FAQ. And if you start, you'll kind of start off here and you want to look for the word notifications. Um, and it should be the first article that pops up. Um, or you can just kind of go to, uh, let's go back here. Oops, sorry about that. So, or you can just kind of go to the second topic down here. It says learning reamaze. And there's an article here called your notification settings. So if you kind of forget what we're talking about in this video, you can obviously replay it or just go to this article and it'll have everything kind of written down. Um, and it's, it's, a, it's a pretty good article to read. Um, so for personal notification settings, you'll want to go to, remember, you go to settings and then scroll down until you see notification settings. Um, you kind of want to start off, you know, top to bottom. So for subscribe channels, um, this is where you want to enroll or kind of uh, add yourself to the notifications that you want for these specific channels. So this is, let's say, an SMS channel. This is a Daffy support email channel. There's an Instagram channel here. There's a Twitter channel, so on and so forth. Um, if you don't want notifications for any of them, click none. If you want notifications for all of them, click all. Or if you want to customize this list, you can just uncheck whatever you don't want to receive notifications for. Um, now, keep in mind, this is subscribe channels, right? So this doesn't mean you're, you know, you're, you're separating like mobile notifications or desktop notifications. These are just which channels do you want to subscribe to for notifications, okay? So if you're happy with that, click save settings. Okay, when you're done with that, um, you want to go to desktop notifications. Now, desktop notifications are super important. So if you're working out of the Reamaze web dashboard and you're on your computer all day, um, we highly recommend enabling this so your browser can notify you, right? Um, if you're working on another tab or another window um, and a new conversation comes in, you, your browser can notify you. So click enable notifications and accept the, um, the permissions um, that should pop up somewhere up here or up here depending on the browser that you're using so that's desktop notifications email notifications and this is really um, up to you um, if you're working out of the web dashboard or uh, the reamaze mobile app for ios and android you don't have to receive notif e email notifications some people find them super annoying uh, but if you're on the move and you maybe you just want to reply to things via email um, uh, you can turn on email notifications so the first verbose option basically says notify me on every message and every event from staff or customers. Um, I'll let you guys know now that if you turn on verbose, it, your inbox might explode if you have high volume. Um, so use that at your own risk. Um, normally people have this turned off. Um, for event notifications, these are kind of more internal processes, internal events um, that you want to receive notifications for via email. So let's say if someone reassigns a conversation to you and you want to know about it, um, obviously check the reassign event notification. 
Um, if you want reminders as an email notification, make sure to check that. It says notify when a reminder is fired and you're a participant in an on-hold conversation. Um, underneath that is uh, message notifications. This is probably the most important one, um, echoes. So a lot of people have questions about what echoes are. So echoes are email notifications that go to your personal inbox. So it's the inbox that you signed up um, under staff. Now, when a customer sends in a message via email and you reply, uh, it's sometimes helpful to have your reply synchronized to your email inbox, just kind of, kind of like a running transcript, right? So it's your reply back to the customer, um, and those are going to your email inbox as an echo notification. Right? So it says, when you respond within Reamaze, we will echo your response back to your email. So if you want echoes turned on, click that. Um, if you don't really care to keep things synchronized in your email inbox, you don't have to check this option. Uh, participating, notify when a message arrives and you're a participant, excuse me, in the conversation. So you can check that if you want that email notification. Um, notify when a new message arrives and you're the assigned staff in a conversation. Um, this one is probably the most important one if you want to kind of keep your email organized and you want email notifications from Reamaze. Uh, when a message arrives and you're already participant in that conversation. So you can check that option, but if not, you can leave it unchecked. Um, a new channel conversation are new messages that are arriving in your Reamaze email channel. Um, if you want a notification for that, you can check this option here. Um, so when you're done, I'll just, I'll just check these two um, and I'll click Save Settings and you should be set. Um, Mobile notifications, oops, not that one. So the last one is mobile notifications. So if you download the iOS or Android app for Reamaze, um, you can basically respond to customers via the mobile app and not the web dashboard or your email. Um, and event notifications, message notifications kind of reflect the same as email kind of notifications. Um, so reassign, reminders, participating, assign new, new channel conversations. So if you have these checked, uh, mobile notifications will be pushed to your iPhone or your Android phone. Um, and for mobile notifications, you have the benefit of setting notification hours. So let's say you, you kind of have a no cell phone policy in the house after 7 p.m. Um, what you can do is you can set specific hours and you can say, okay, I don't, I only want notifications between, let's say, 6.30 a.m. and 7, where's 7 p.m. here? 7 p.m., 7 p.m., 7 p.m. Okay, 7 p.m. So if you click Save Settings here, Remaze will only push mobile notifications to your phone um, during these hours, during basically working hours. And after 7 p.m., you will no longer receive any mobile notifications. Um, so again, just to kind of summarize, um, subscribe, notif subscribe channels are the most important ones. So you have to subscribe to the channels that you want notifications for. Um, and then after that, you have the option of turning on desktop notifications, email notifications, and mobile notifications. Cool, um, so the second topic we're gonna talk about in this episode is email autoresponders. Um, so a lot of people have questions about email autoresponders. And in Reamaze, there's two ways of doing that. Um, one is to just turn on the autoresponder for your email channel. Um, so you would do that by going to channel settings and then email channels. And right now we have uh, an email channel here for Daffy support. And the autoresponder right now is turned on, but if it's turned off, this is where you would wanna go to turn it on. So click the off button or the off link if it's um, off and the on link to customize it, right? So when you're in here, click enable autoresponder. Okay, so Reamaze will automatically send a reply when a new email conversation is received. This only applies to emails. Again, this is an email autoresponder. Um, automated confirmation messages for embeds can be found under brand settings um, and then text customization. So we'll talk about this part separately when we talk about Reamaze chat and the embedded options. Um, so for autoresponder hours, you can set your office hours, which we'll talk about right after this um, in this episode, um, or you can set your specific hours um, based on you know whatever settings that you have in your company or policies that you have in your company. Um, if you want 24-hour weekend coverage, um, you can check that option as well. Otherwise, it'll just follow the spec. So if you want um, specific hours, you can set. So let's say your office hours start at 8 a.m. in the morning. So we're going to set to 8 a.m. and office hours end at, let's say, 5 p.m. or yeah, 5 p.m. Um, so that's when the autoresponder message down here will fire. 
Um, it can choose the email from name, and you can pick the brand name or your channel name, um, and then you can craft your autoresponder message here. Now, autoresponder messages do support dynamic variables. If you click on this little link, it will actually show you the dynamic variables that are available for you to use. Um, these are kind of the standard customer variables. Uh, the integration variables for Shopify, BigCommerce, and WooCommerce are down here. Um, and we have you know, uh, a template for you to use if you want to use any of these variables. Um, but it's pretty flexible, and you can craft an autoresponder message uh, just by filling this out. Now remember when you're done, uh, scroll, scroll all the way down to the bottom and hit Save Channel Settings, and you should be good to go. Okay, so the last thing we're going to talk about um, is uh, office hours. Now, if you have specific office hours, they re they apply to certain to different functionalities in Reama. So, for example, um, you can have your autoresponder settings follow office hours. You can have your Reama's queues, which is the automated engagement campaigns. Those can follow office hours as well. So there are various settings in Reama's that follow office hours. So it's important that you set this up um, kind of in, on day one. Um, and to set up office hours, you want to go to channel settings and under messaging because it's kind of a more general setting for your entire business. Um, and you'll see office hours here. All right, so right now this is on for this brand. Um, for this demo brand, we have uh, none specified, so nothing here. So let's just go in here and change the office hours. So I'm going to go manage messaging settings. Okay, and you're going to scroll down. It should be the second option here, and it's office hours. Okay, so you can add your office hours. Um, so let's say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Well, let's do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, the office hours are from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. That sounds good. Um, and then you can add another office hour. You can say Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. No, Tuesday, Thursday. Um, maybe your office closes a little bit later. So let's say 6 p.m. Okay, you hit done. Um, so you have two now, right? And then you can add uh, more. So for Saturday and Sunday, let's say you have, you have a different set of hours. Um, so on the weekend, let's say your office hours only run through from, let's say, 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. or 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. So you can click done. So those are the three office hours you've set. Um, while you're doing this, you can also add blackout dates. So these are dates that you are, you guys, not, nobody's in the office. So let's say Thanksgiving or Christmas or New Year's. Um, you can add uh, blackout dates here. So let's say uh, December 31st. Um, no one's working. You can add all day. You can add, you know, Christmas. You can add, so that's December 25th. We'll add all day. So you can add as many blackout dates as, as you want. Now, office hours will be shown in Reama's chat. Um, as I alluded to earlier, these, these kind of settings apply to different features. So when you have Reama's chat embedded onto your site or inside your app, will actually alert your customers when you'll next, you know, when you'll be in office again next. So let's say they contact you on a Tuesday, um, 7 p.m., which is outside of office hours. Uh, the next available time slot, which would be Saturday at 2 p.m., that's when Reamaze will show, okay, this company will be back in office on Saturday at 2 p.m., right? So that's where office hours are really useful. And then obviously you can set your email autoresponders to follow these hours instead of those specific hours that you set earlier. Okay, so when you're done, click Save Messaging Settings. And then now you've added your office hours. Um, the second way to do autoresponders, which we're gonna we'll kind of backtrack a little bit here, is, to, is through actually um, automated workflows. So automated workflows are a combination of commands that um, Reamaze can automatically run based on specific triggering events. Um, so you can create workflows here by adding a workflow and make sure you pick the right brand. Again, Reamaze is multi-brand capable. That means you can run more than one business using one Reamaze account. You can have multiple Shopify stores connected to a single Reamaze account. Um, you can have different departments set up as different brands. So you can have different email channels, different social media channels, different SMS channels allocated to the different brands. So that's a really powerful feature in Reamaze. Um, so make sure to create the workflow under the right brand, give the workflow a name. So let's say this is going to be a social media, um, or let's do let's do Twitter autoresponder, okay? So obviously Twitter natively has an autoresponder, but you can do that actually through Reamaze as well. Um, and the workflow mode is going to be automated. And for the basic triggers, you're gonna to want to pick the right channel. So let's say if a customer messages us on Twitter, 
um, that's when we want to fire an autoresponder. So let's say um, the message channel is, um, we're going to select Twitter here, so the at Daffy Widgets Twitter account. Um, you can also set time frame. So let's say if the conversation receive time is between, you know, uh, let's say uh, 12, 30, 12 a.m. and 6 a.m. in the morning. Okay. Right. So that's when you want the Twitter autoresponder to fire. Um, you'd want these two rules at least, right? Um, you can add other conditions, um, but that really depends on your use case. Uh, but workflows is powerful like that. You can not only use workflows for creating autoresponders, you can use workflows to automate a lot of different actions. Um, and we'll cover workflows kind of more in depth in another episode. But for the sake of talking about autoresponders, um, we're going to talk about setting the message channel and the receive time. Um, and then for the command, you want reamaze to automatically reply. So the command is going to be respond to conversation. And you can type, you know, hi, um, thanks for your tweet. Um, we will get back to you ASAP when we're uh, back in the office. Okay, so that might be the tweet that you send back uh, to the customer um, when they tweet you during these hours. When you're done with that, hit create. And now you have an autoresponder specifically set for Twitter, um, and for that sake, you know any of your social media channels or even email. You can even do an email autoresponder through workflows. Um, so the the so this episode covered you know how to set your email autoresponder, how to set your autoresponders via workflows, and also under messaging settings um, where you would apply your office hours. Okay, so in the next episode, we're going to start talking about kind of things in more, more in depth and also go through all of these individual settings um, all together. Uh, I'll see you guys in episode five.